While those of us in the electric vehicle world may not like to admit it, the spectre of battery degradation is one which really does haunt current and future plug-in owners around the world. Battery degradation is the name given to the process by which all types of batteries slowly lose their ability to store charge over time. That reduced ability to store charge manifests in a shorter runtime in consumer gadgets like cell phones and laptops, and a reduced range per charge in an electric car. And while every car suffers some battery degradation and associated range loss, those with electric cars that have passive thermal management rather than active thermal management, are seemingly suffering the most. This is especially true for the Nissan LEAF, a car which seems unusually predisposed to suffering battery degradation due to its lack of active thermal management. And as an owner of not one, but two LEAFs so far, I can certainly attest to the fear after watching both our original 2011 Nissan LEAF and our 2013 Nissan LEAF succumb to lost capacity bars and lost range. So a few weeks ago, when Nissan launched the next generation 2018 LEAF, I and plenty of other LEAF owners around the world were keen to see if Nissan would give the second generation LEAF active thermal management rather than the passive thermal management of the previous generation car. Since active thermal management, as found in plug-in cars made by Tesla, BMW and Chevrolet to name just three makers, is known to reduce the speed of battery degradation, the hope shared by existing and future customers was that Nissan would see the light and give the 2018 LEAF a more robust battery thermal management system than its predecessor. But as I and other attendees to the official launch event soon discovered, the 2018 LEAF's battery pack uses a new next-generation lithium-ion cell chemistry with no manganese in it that Nissan says is far more energy-dense than its predecessor and which has a much lower internal cell resistance. It's also far less susceptible to battery degradation, at least that's what the engineers say. That's great news for prospective owners, but I can't help wonder if Nissan's lack of active thermal management in the next generation LEAF is going to be the vehicle's biggest Achilles heel. After all, Nissan has gone to great lengths to describe the 2018 LEAF as an affordable car designed to give its customers what it thinks they want, which is a modern family car that happens to be electric and is packed with plenty of useful driver assistance features without breaking the bank. Nissan has even justified the sticker price as one of the reasons that the 2018 LEAF has an expected 150 mile, 240 kilometer range instead of the 200 plus miles of the Tesla Model 3 and Chevrolet Bolt EV. And Nissan is partly right. Putting a 40 kilowatt hour battery pack should be more than enough for customers in Europe and even parts of North America where average commute distances are only 20 or 30 miles per day. When combined, with appropriate DC quick charging, there's even an argument that you don't really need a larger battery pack since 150 miles is about the limit of most people's bladders before they need to stop and go to the restroom. At least if you have a robust charging network, that's true. But if you're building a car that's meant to be affordable and as mainstream as possible, it also means building a car with a robust battery pack that will suffer minimal battery degradation. Based on anecdotal evidence from the past three weeks, I've seen more people question the thermal management situation for the next generation Nissan LEAF in the comments section to this channel than I have any other question about the LEAF. Worse still, while Nissan engineers were happy to talk about battery thermal management to me and other auto journalists at the official Nissan LEAF launch event. I've not seen any active public communication from Nissan on the whole battery management issue. In other words, while it's a big concern for existing and future customers, Nissan doesn't seem all that bothered about explaining how its new battery pack for the LEAF is different to the one before, nor is it explaining why it doesn't feel an active thermal battery management system is needed. Those two mistakes, in my opinion, are even worse than the one not including active thermal battery management in the first place, because if Nissan is really correct and there's no need for such a system in the new LEAF, it needs to work harder to explain how its second generation LEAF battery pack is going to be different to the first. And with the first generation LEAF, the most popular electric car to date around the world, it's the vehicle most future customers are likely to have experience of. It's a PR disaster waiting to happen. If there's no active thermal battery 
management in the next generation leaf and it needs it and it then loses a significant range in the first five to six years of ownership, even if that's just 10 or 15 percent, it's going to be a severe impact on Nissan's reputation moving forwards. And without a robust campaign explaining just why this new battery pack is better than its predecessor, Nissan sales will suffer as existing customers opt to switch to a model with an active thermal management system instead. That's it. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to hear the moment a new show is uploaded and click the Patreon link at the end of this video or in the description below if you want to help me make more of these videos. Until next time, keep evolving!